For years, Divi gave you CSS IDs and classes for elements that worked fine for styling and scripting. But attributes like RIA rules or focus attributes such as tab index require third-party plugins or custom code. But not anymore. Divi 5 introduces custom attributes that let you add semantic roles directly in the Divi Visual Builder. You can now design pages that works better with assistive technology without leaving Divi or any extra code. And this video is guide you through the most useful semantic roles and demonstrate how to apply them in Divi 5. So let's get started. Now if you want to deep dive and learn more about these semantic roles, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and check out our blog post that we are going to link in the video description below. So once you're done with this video, I would highly recommend you check out our blog post and I'm sure you will find it really helpful. So let me show you how you can do that in the Divi Visual Builder. Now Divi 5 introduces custom attributes directly inside the Divi Visual Builder, which is what makes semantic role practical to use without plugin or custom code. Now in order to add semantic role in Divi 5, we are going to use a scroll triggered email pop-up as an example and mark it as a dialogue. So here is an example of the pop-up and these pop-ups usually appear as style container when a visitor scrolls down the page. Now visually it's clear that a model has opened but without semantic context, assistive technology may treat it as a regular div. So in order to fix that, we need to click on the pop-up container and then open the settings panel and then go to advanced tab. And from there, we need to go to attributes and from there, we need to click on add attribute and then select role from the attribute list type. The attribute setting will open and attribute name field is automatically filled with role. Then we can go ahead and add a label, choose the target element as module and add attribute value as dialogue. And that's it. And then once you save it, the role is added directly to the elements markup. You can preview the page to confirm it's applied. The best part is that you can also add multiple attributes to the same element without any conflict. Role IDs, RIA attributes and custom data attributes can all coexist and manage from the same panel. So what are semantic roles? Now semantic roles describe what an element actually does, not how it looks. They help browser and assistive technologies understand the purpose of each part of your page. So users can navigate it effectively. For example, like navigation to a container, screen readers immediately recognize it as a navigation landmark. Users can jump directly to it instead of tabbing through each and every element on your page. And this matters because accessibility is no longer optional. Modern websites are accepted to support keyboard navigation, screen readers and assistive tools by default. Semantic roles makes this possible without forcing users to consume content in a single linear flow. Now here is a quick example in action. Let's say we want to add a role that is button to a non-button element. Now Divi's button module already output proper semantic button markups. So you usually don't need to add roles like these. But a button role is useful when you turn a non-button element like maybe an icon or an image into a clickable action. If an icon triggers an action, then adding role equals to button makes the behavior clear to assistive technologies. And for that as well, simply go ahead and open element settings and then go to advance and then open attributes and go ahead and add role attribute and set its value to button. This ensures screen readers announce it correctly and users understand it's interactive. In the same way, you can make elements keyboard accessible with tab index. Now many Divi modules output div element by default, which are not focusable with the keyboard. If you are using one of these elements as an interactive component, such as clickable card or icon based control, you need to add tab index. Adding tab index equals to zero, place the element into the natural tab order of the page. Keyboard users can now navigate to it just like links or buttons. In order to add that, you need to create custom attributes and setting the name to tab index and the value to be zero. For more details, do check out the blog post that we are going to link in the video description below. So semantic roles help people navigate your site faster and understand its structure more clearly. It improves accessibility, reduce friction and make your layout easier to interpret for assistive technologies. 
and Divi 5's custom attribute panel brings this capability directly to your normal design workflow. Adding roles, tab index values and area attributes now takes seconds instead of custom code or any third-party plugin. These changes may feel small, but together they transform your site into something more usable, inclusive and future ready. So go ahead and download Divi 5 public beta today and start building pages that work better for everyone. And if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.